Hey folks, Logan here with Duncan's Boats and today we're going to take a look at the Bayliner VR5. For a while now this has been one of our most popular uh, Bayliner boats right there in that 20 foot range at 20 foot 7 inch. Nice wide beam and 8 feet and a really really deep uh, dead rise here. Um, you notice a nice uh, sharp bow here uh, that continues back uh, to a 20 degree dead rise. Uh, so good ride out there. Uh, for a boat that does actually seat nine people in the outboard version. Uh, real quick here, just looking, talking about the trailer. As with uh, most Bayliner boats, they do come standard with the trailer, uh, galvanized trailer, swing tongue. That way when you have it in storage and stuff, you can get a lot of room out there. As we walk along the side, take a look at the profile. Um, you notice this is really designed to, to be a uh, a safer, more coastal style boat. Uh, big high side walls really make you feel like you're sitting down inside the boat. Uh, this particular one does have a stainless steel package. Uh, so what we notice here, stainless steel rub rail. And uh, as we get inside, you'll notice stainless steel cup holders, grab holders, stuff like that. One cool thing about this boat that we can clearly see right here is that our swim platform here on either side of the engine is actually integrated into the hull. Um, that gives us a good solid swim platform as opposed to just being bolted on. Uh, taking a look at the power uh, right here. Uh, we typically will bring it in with the uh, Mercury 154 stroke. A uh, good running engine even when you have that boat loaded up with uh, people in it. And uh, comes in top end, low 40s, um, and cruises all day long in that, that 20, 25 mile range. Uh, mile per hour range just depend on how quickly um, you want to go. Of course we do got a four step boarding ladder here on the side. Now we're going to step on up a little bit and talk about the swim platform. Uh, again, big swim platform here on either side. Uh, we can actually easily transverse from either side. So depending on where you're tying up and stuff uh, makes it easy for everyone to get on and off. Uh, and stepping on in, real easy, two-step right here, this nice um, opening. One cool little feature Bayliner did do on this boat. Now when we're at the beach or something, we have a nice uh, lazarette laying area right there too as well. Come on inside, guys. So first thing when we step inside the cockpit, we're going to notice seating everywhere and a nice uh, vinyl interior too as well. Uh, this particular seat is pretty cool. It has a three different uh, position. Right here we have it set up as a um, co-cockpit. But if we pull up here in the center, now we can set it down. Now we have a nice backrest here to lay and watch um, if you're doing some tubing or something like that. And then if you do have the, uh, the boat maxed out with folks and stuff in it, uh, we can pull it back, lay it all the way down, and uh, actually have just one more seat uh, right here. Taking a look here uh, at this aft center seat. This is a uh, built-in day cooler. Okay, Nice little feature. And then one of the coolest things with the uh, outboard Bayliner VR5 is the large uh, aft lazarette storage. So now we have plenty of storage room. Uh, most folks down here in the, the Charleston Low Country area, they're going to put their beach chairs, their tents, um, even tubes down there. That way you keep the whole deck and cockpit area open for moving, walking, and stuff like that. Uh, of course, your big Yeti coolers and stuff will fit down there too. Uh, this particular one we brought in with a newer option there. It's what Bayliner calls their Coastline uh, Lux Interior. So you notice nice diamond pattern stitching here. And then actually what's really cool is this uh, blue stitching to match the, uh, the blue exterior. Taking a look here at the helm, you're going to see the same uh, beautiful vinyl interior. Flip up helm bolster. Uh, this seat does move back and forth and uh, swivel. T 
tilt steering right here. So whether you want to drive sitting down or sometimes as I like to do, drive standing up, um, can really easily do that. And then uh, this is our uh, optional Simrad 7 inch Mercury Vessel View Mobile. This is going to be your GPS, your digital depth, fish finder, and uh, engine data all wrapped into one unit right here. And then you do notice this dash is new uh, for this past year. Uh, just a clean looking layout. One thing we didn't talk about on the swim platform that we also have here too as well is our uh, sea matting. Uh, flooring right here, real nice, comfortable on the feet. Uh, it doesn't get as hot and stuff is, is what some other materials will be, uh, especially when you're out there all day. And to note, real easy to clean too as well. Uh, you take a hose or a soft scrub brush, just make sure to go with the, uh, the grains there uh, in that. Stepping up here to the bow, uh, massive storage on this boat, uh, big ski locker right here. Pretty much anywhere where Bayliner could put a uh, storage place, they did. Including up here, storage underneath all three of these seats. Uh, this typically is where we're going to put your anchor to as well. And uh, one cool newer feature uh, they've been doing here recently is not only having USB chargers there at the driving console, um, but here up in the deck, uh, knowing I say deck, I mean bow, knowing that uh, everybody out here has phones. And then last to talk about here at the bow is uh, what Bayliner calls their beam forward design. So you see they bring this beam as forward as far as possible before coming to a point. What that gives us is plenty of room um, to hang out and lay out. I'm just under six feet and I can easily sit down here and have two folks here on either side. Uh, Folks, this is the Bayliner VR5 outboard, a uh, great boat. Uh, come out and see us, let us know of any questions, and uh, thanks for watching and happy boating.